know what it smells like? Ton of fiber. I like to cut them a little bit thin. Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, unboxing haul videos, and food review videos. In today's video, we're going to review another food item from Costco. So this is another like Asian food item that I recently found in Costco. I'm so excited to try this out. This is from the brand So Good. It hearts. This is the brand, and this is the traditional Korean inspired medium spicy beef and vegetable soup. It's kind of interesting that it says it's traditional, but then it says it's Korean inspired. Because usually when it says it's inspired, usually it means it's not like the traditional, but it's traditional Korean inspired. So this is the beef and vegetable soup, and it's in the medium spicy. I personally love it to be very, very spicy, but I also know that not everyone loves like the hard, 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 very spicy. So I'm glad that the Costco carries a medium spicy option. So it says it's fully cooked. It's ready in six minutes. It does contain quite a bit of sodium, but when it comes to soup item, I think it's very easy just to dilute it with um, a little bit more water and vegetable, maybe just portion it out. It says each bag has three and a half um, cups per container and it also says it tastes great with rice so if you put some rice on the side or soak some rice in it it will probably taste pretty good fiber it looks like a pretty good item so today's video we're going to cook this and i'm gonna probably change it a little bit after heating it up because i bought some like asian mushrooms not asian mushrooms like i guess mushrooms they don't have ethnicity but i got some mushrooms from the website called we i'm not affiliated with them it's just my friend from japan she told me about it and then i bought several like enoki mushrooms and other mushrooms and locust roots i'll link it down below as well but so far i have made several purchases and they've been pretty good okay let's see what's inside it smells really spicy you know what it smells like it smells like beef jerky and it's pretty red inside. There are several pieces of beef in it, which is really good. So now let's pour. Oh my gosh. Be mindful when you pour it out. Oh, looks good. It looks pretty good. I'll give you a close shot. We have some beef. These are lean beef. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. Some onions, scallions, and that's pretty much it. I think there's like some bean sprouts. So if you'll just look at the content itself, there's not too much vegetables, although it's a beef vegetable soup. There's a little bit of like, I think this is bean sprouts and a lot of beef and some scallions, which is pretty good. It adds a lot of flavor. And the soup, it smells really good. It smells like beef jerky. So instead of just cooking it this way, I'm going to add some vegetables in it and make it healthier. This is my wee order. It sounds like I'm not I'm promoting for them or something, but I'm not affiliated with them. It's just that I personally I would prefer to shop at H Mart or something, but there's no H Mart in my city. So I have to drive all the way to Austin if I want to shop any like Asian food or whatever. So we website definitely makes it like more accessible. So yeah. So today, let me dive in there. I decided to put some enoki mushrooms. These are the enoki mushrooms. I think you can find it in your local Asian grocery stores or sometimes grocery store, regular grocery store will have them. It depends on the store, obviously. And these are some oyster mushrooms. These mushrooms have so much nutrients, very nutrient dense. And then we're gonna do some lotus root. So I think for the lotus root, I have to boil them on the side just because it takes longer time to boil the lotus root. And I don't want to overcook my beef. So I will be putting some lotus root into some water, boil them until they're like maybe half cooked and put everything into my mushroom soup to heat it up. And obviously you don't have to all, you don't have to do all of, you can just heat up the soup on its own, but I think it's more fun this way. And also it adds way more vegetables. As you can tell from the soup base, there's not a lot of vegetables. If I'm gonna like criticize, I think that's part of the cons because it's beef and veggie, but it's just a little bit of veggie. But I do appreciate that there is a lot of beef. 
it smells quite salty. So instead of using water to dilute it, make it all watery, I love to use vegetables to dilute it so that like, you know, there's water content in the vegetables. So it feels like, you know, it's not completely diluted, but it's diluted. So let's clean this up for a little bit. I recommend peeling it just because, you know, lotus root, it's a root vegetable or root, and it's, it's grow in the mud. So I would totally just, you know, clean it up, wipe, peel it. I usually use a peeler like this for my uh, potatoes and stuff. And I think one time my friend was complaining that like when she make um, mashed potatoes, she hates to steam the potatoes and then have to peel them hot. And I was like, why don't you just use a peeler peel them in advance? And she's like, oh, that makes way more sense, right? So see, it's way easier to peel anything when they're hard as long as you use a peeler. But what they look like is that there are holes in the middle, so don't freak out if there are holes. They're supposed to have holes. I like to cut them a little bit thin just because it's easier to cook them this way. I know this whole thing kind of bothers some people, but I personally think it's really cute. Notice that if your lotus root after you peel them, if they're exposed to the air for a long time, they're gonna get oxidized. But don't worry, they taste just fine. Just like apples, like sometimes like if you don't squeeze lemon juice or vitamin C to help them to keep the color, they will oxidize. Sliced up the lotus into a pot, put some water in there and boil them for about, I wanna say 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes before putting them in the soup just because you know like it actually takes some time i prefer my lotus to be soft um sometimes like you can also eat them like when they're a little bit on the crispy it depends on which texture you prefer if you prefer crispier texture maybe you don't boil them as long um, but if you are like me who prefer like softer texture you know feel free to boil them longer so i'm gonna put some water you can soak them into the water. By soaking them into the water, you're basically isolating them from the oxygen to prevent them from oxidization. All right, so for the enoki mushrooms, I usually prefer to cut up the roots area, discard the root area from here, and just wash up the top part like this. The enoki mushrooms has a ton of fiber, so, they actually don't take long time to cook, probably just like five minutes into soup. So we'll just like toss them in the soup after, you know, we are the lotus is ready and then we can heat up the soup with the enoki mushrooms. It's getting dark. So now here is the oyster mushrooms. These are pre-cut already. So this is what the mushroom looks like. This, and then we'll cut up the root area. We won't eat this part. We'll wash them together right here. All right guys, so we're boiling the lotus root. They're basically getting a little bit softer, nice. It's been 10 minutes, I believe. So I think we can start to heat up the soup right here and start to bring in the lotus root into the soup as we can put in to the other mushrooms as well. Now we're gonna put in the mushrooms. Yeah, so you can see the flavors of the soup is getting to our vegetable. I always think that like, the mushrooms or vegetables taste better than the meat when it comes to these like salty soups just because like usually the vegetables soak into the sauce a little bit better. All right, so it turned into medium heat. It looks so healthy. Then we're close down the lid for about six minutes and we'll check it out. All right, I think it's been three minutes. Let's stir it a little bit more, turn down the heat a little bit more. Make sure all the vegetables are soak into the sauce. This beef veggie soup has become a mushroom lotus root soup. All right, guys, it seems like it's all boiling. It seems like it's all ready. I'm a little bit worried about lotus root, to be honest, because that usually takes longer to cook. I think the thinner sliced ones definitely is good. The mushrooms are good. Usually the, when the milky mushrooms are cooked, they are a little bit softer. 
Yeah, hey, I add a mushrooms because on the wrap it here it has mushrooms, and usually these soup go really well with mushrooms or cabbage, the napa cabbage. Ooh, I can smell the herbs from the Korean soup. So you can see the original mushrooms and beef, and the added mushrooms and the lotus root. Ooh, I bet this will taste good because it smells really, really good. And options for rice on the side. All right, guys, it's time for our taste test. It's currently really, really hot. I can smell the herbs. Ooh, it smells really good. Okay, let me drink a little bit of soup first. Mmm. It tastes not as salty as I originally thought, which is really, really good. And then now let's try out the beef. The beef is very lean. It has a lot, a lot, a lot of flavor. Originally, I thought this would be like really salty, but it's not salty. But of course, I put extra vegetables, so I think that's probably why it's not salty. Originally, I was worried that maybe after I put so much extra in there, it may dilute it, but it actually didn't. It tastes pretty good. Every single bite has a lot of flavor. It's slightly spicy. It's not too spicy. It's not spicy for me. It just has a little bit of heat. Mm. Mushrooms taste the best. It's really good. Okay, I think this is the mushroom that came with it. Mmm has a lot of flavor. All right guys, after cooking, adding extra ingredients and tasting the soup and ingredients that came with it and my ingredients, I think I'm ready to give you my honest review. First of all, I think the soup has really, really good flavor. It kind of tastes very traditional in a way that it's not a kimchi soup because I have tried like so much like kimchi soup, but this one, it has a little bit of earthy, like herb taste, which makes it sound like very like traditional. I think in China, we drink like some soup like this as well. And the beef inside, it's very lean. It's not like fatty beef at all. If you prefer fatty beef, I can see that some people may not like the lean beef texture just because it's a little bit on the chewy side. It has a ton of flavor. I put extra ingredients in and the flavor turned out to be really good. It's not diluted at all. So I can see that if you don't put extra things in there, the soup itself is a little bit on the liquid side. There's beef, there's a little bit of veggie and a lot of soup. So I highly recommend that you put some Napa cabbage or some mushrooms of choice, anything in there. And just be mindful, like maybe not too, not to put too much watery vegetables in there. But so far, I think it tastes really good. I definitely would recommend you to add extra veggies in there instead of just eating it on its own because as you can see at the beginning of this video, it was like beef in the center and a lot of soup on the side. I'm like, yeah, but if you just drink soup on its own, it's probably too salty. You kind of want something to soak into the soup and eat it, like some solid food. But also another option is to eat some rice on the side or put some rice inside of soup. It also soaked into the flavor. But overall, I highly recommend. I will give this item maybe 8.5 out of 10. It's definitely really good. It's in my to buy list. But I do want to say that if I didn't add an extra ingredient, it's a little bit like empty in the soup. But I understand this is like a soup base and I think it's sold as an intention. Maybe you add some extra in there. So overall, this item is a big success. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching, cooking, tasting with me. I hope you had fun. I hope my review videos can be helpful to you. I know this item is sold not only at Costco, but also in some Asian grocery stores, HMARS, 99 Ranch. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, consider subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, thanks for watching. Thank you.